Shalom. Al- <laughs> I was going to say, Ani lo, Ani ole chadash. But uh, one of the things that happens when you start to learn Hebrew is when you go to say something, you forget everything. And then you start speaking English. Oh, I know. It's really quite embarrassing. And then you make everyone try and learn speaking English. Oh, it's terrible. It's just so hard. But anyway, what I was going to say was, Ani ole chadash. Ani ola chadasha. I well, am that's a new very immigrant. good. Yeah, we are new immigrants in Israel. What about this one? Ani lomed ivrit. Ani lomedet ivrit. I like that. I am learning Hebrew. I'm learning Hebrew. Well, that's exactly what we're doing here. Welcome to Hebrew-lessons.com. Shalom. <laughs> Manishma. Manishma. Mashlomcha. How oh. are you? You know, one of the great things about starting to learn a new language is the the fun in trying to use it. It is a lot of fun, isn't it? No, because when you go out <laughs> and you think you know all the words that you have to say and someone walks up to you, all you can sort of go is... You go... And then they look at you like you're stupid and then, of course, you speak in English, don't well, you? you say shalom, you say manishma, how are you? And then you say tov tada, or you say boka tov, good morning. Yeah. And then when they start talking during a conversation, <laughs> you haven't got a clue. Now, as you can see, joining with us on the Hebrew Lesson Challenge is going to be quite a bit of fun because um, we are going to work on ways to actually apply what we are learning. Now, I went and had my hair cut the other week, and... Uh, the guy cut my hair. You were there, weren't you? I had to be there in case I shaved <laughs> yeah. my head off completely. Making sure I didn't have all the hair shaved off. Well, you feel like you can't communicate with anyone and you're living in a box. Yeah, so this is what happened. He cuts my hair and he's he says something in Hebrew with the mirror. Do you like it? And I said... Um, Laitrod. I said... Did I say Laitrod? I, I see you later. I said Laitrod. <laughs> And I thought I was saying, it's, it's very good, which is what? What's very good? Um, tov tada. No. No? Tov tada is good. Good, thank you, yeah. Tov, I thought tov tada was very tov good. Tov tada. Yeah, well, anyway, that, that's what I meant to say. I meant to say... Um, tov tada ba, thank you very much. Or I, I might have even tried to say something like excellent, which is most say... Uh, Muhuderet. No. That's our insurance. <laughs> that's, your, that's your insurance. <laughs> what would have been really good if I really was. Metsa. Metsuyan. 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 Excellent. Metsuyan. That's what I should have said. But, you know, of course, I didn't have my sheet of paper with me. I'm out there in action and I messed it up, didn't I? First time we all learnt Tadaraba, which is Tadaraba. Tadaraba, which is thank you very much. Well, yeah. that's all we spoke for a week. Tadaraba. Yeah, Tadaraba. Everything was Tadaraba. Tadaraba. And it was, you know, it was a lot of fun, wasn't it? Um, we used to live in Spain about 20 years ago, and I got by with the word Capasa, which is what's happening. And what happens when you come to a country? <laughs> that is other than your mother tongue is you start breaking out in any other language that you've learned. So we keep breaking out in Spanish. I, I know more Spanish today than when I lived in Spain. Which it's all coming alive. If you meet <laughs> an Israeli Span- Spanish person that speaks, yeah. is, is, is Israeli but speaks, speaks a bit of Spanish. Well, yeah. no, their, ho- their uh, family was Spanish. Yeah, well, anyway, here, here our focus is to, to speak Hebrew. Oh, yeah, what about the time I lost my daughter in the three story oh yeah the three store there was a three story <laughs> store and the lift only goes to two of the floors and my daughter Hannah knew that she could get down to the basement where they had all the sports stuff on the escalator but I didn't know that and I lost her we didn't know the basement existed did we I was in the we? makeup area with all these women that come round you oh the oh, shops yeah. are a nightmare because they're always coming up you can't just go in a shop and just look and we had at just ar- we had just arrived in Israel and we hadn't got cell phones yet had we so in my panic i started to speak spanish <laughs> Mija, <laughs> <laughs> Mija, where's Mija? And um, this woman 
happened to be <laughs> Spanish. I'm sure like, there was 20 people that spoke English, but you spoke Spanish. Anyway, she turned anyway. up in the end, so we were pleased We did. Her. We found her in the end. Now, fun, the funny stories when you just get here are really uh, something else. You know, I remember... Um, uh, I got into this, you know, you have to thumb a lift. Everyone gets a lift. And in the UK, we go like this to thumb a lift. Here, they have this sign, like that. you know, like this, you know, to get a lift. This means local. This means, you know, you're going the distance. Or you're not, it's not in the camera. Lo local, oh, local, the distance. Anyway, whatever. So I go out to get a lift. And... Um, I'm thinking, here's my opportunity to speak Hebrew. And uh, I get picked up and, you know, I've got it all together. I know exactly what I'm going to say. Do you know what I say? Shalom. I'm saying shalom because I've learned how to say hello. Well, guess what? I get picked up in a car of Arabs and they go, lo, lo shalom, lo. <laughs> and they're trying to teach me Arabic, not Hebrew. And I'm like, oh, here I am trying to learn uh, Hebrew, and they're saying, oh, no, we're not Hebrew, we're, we're um, Arabs. So it was really quite funny. Um, we've had quite a few funny the things. The supermarket is the hardest, oh, and um, I oh, found yeah. a really precious girl. Actually, her name's <coughs> Shelley, like yeah. my, my sister's name, and um, she helps me around the store because I couldn't find the olive oil. Like, they had this the line, the, the aisle, full of olive oil, <laughs> But not, no, full of oil, cooking oil, like canola oil and um, soya bean oil, but there was no olive oil. And I'm like, why haven't they got any olive oil? <laughs> so the girl didn't know what I meant by <coughs> olive oil. No, this is, she was thinking, I was asking about the brands and the, pe the people that make the brands, you know, the... Um, uh. The manufacturers. She thought I was concerned about the manufacturers of the oil. I'm like, no, olive oil. <laughs> so she she said, do you have a picture of it? So a lot of the times you go out here, we have to take pictures and point. Like I've been oh, to the yeah. supermarket before and pointed to meat on the um, <laughs> picture because I just didn't know how. I knew they had an offer. Well, she's didn't. she's also scared of the meat canter. Yeah, well, I didn't. I just pine. I'm like, oh. Oh, wait, I'm like, can I have some of this chicken? Well, what about the day I'm there in the supermarket? I've got Haley on Skype, trying to get her on Skype, and I'm taking pictures of things like sanitary towels, and everyone's looking at me. They're thinking, what is that <laughs> guy doing with his iPhone? Is this the right one at the sanitary towels? It was quite embarrassing. Well, anyway, you remember the time I was in the queue? Well, I was talking to, I was talking about yeah. when I was in the supermarket. All right, okay. And this girl was helping me find the olive oil. Did you not find it yet? So you will cut that bit out <laughs> about sanitary towels because that is, like, really embarrassing. Well, right? for me. So, yeah. But anyway, <laughs> I showed her the picture from the internet. Oh, she says. Then she, she says the olive oil's with the wine. They of course. The bottles of olive oil... Camel van. Camel van. Oh, camel van. Camel van, of course. Who keeps olive oil with wine? Well, I don't know. Maybe the supermarket. Well, anyway, it did. I had to go all the way to the wine aisle <sighs> for for the olive oil. They treat it like wine. Yeah, Bottles okay. Bottles of wine. I also I tried to find hair gel. And I got to the hair gel. This was first week in Israel. Get to the hair gel. And I can't read it. I don't know what's for men, what's for women, how it's all done. So here I am. I'm asking everybody that's coming. I'm saying, gel for your hair <laughs> for a man. For, for, I don't even know. Even today, I don't even know what man is. Man. What's man? Well, we don't know. That'll oh, be... In Spanish, it's amigo. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> amigo. That's a friend. Oh, is it? Yeah. You don't even know your Spanish. Hom. Hom? Is that French? Uh, hombre. Hombre. Yeah. Yeah? I think so. Mujer. Oh, well, whatever. See, all our, Span all our Spanish is we, coming out. We just think we're Spanish. In a foreign country. Anyway, we're trying to get this into like a five minute broadcast, and I think we're absolutely blown out of the water. But anyway, I go through about 10 women that pass by trying to work through the hair gel. And one thing I like is everybody is so helpful. You know, tons of them are trying to help me go through and they're, they're going jibbity 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 jibbity
Anyway, I ended up buying this hair gel. Yeah, it was like a big Like a, a tub for like five years. Look how long his hair is, like tiny. <laughs> I don't actually use it. I've got like a whole, have I got two tubs or one no, tub? I anyway. came back with all, they sold it. Anyway. Him. They saw, it's like selling sand to the Arabs. Oh, they? there was they something else. They sold him all these pots of gel. Oh, it was huge. And it's, oh, it was terrible, man. not fit him in the cabinet. It was like putting concrete in my hair. You know, if I walked into something, my kit, my hair cracked. And the lines at the, at the cashiers is oh, something else. It's like a war. You get the trolley. And the reason you have the trolley is to protect yourself. So you use the trolley to go where you want to go. You have to push your nose of your trolley in. Uh, so that you're in line. So you're in line. They, no, but they leave their <laughs> trolleys there and go off shopping. And they leave their trolleys in the line. And so you're like, you go, oh, why is that trolley there all so by you itself? Move it and go in, and they come back and they're oh. really mad. Oh, it's a war. That you a do war. like this, rega. Oh, I love that one, rega. Crossing for, the road. First time I learnt, I learnt rega, I was with this guy from England, and we went downtown. And um, he said, oh, he said, let me show you something. And he walks out right in front of the cars. <laughs> Rega, like this. Right in their face, like this, you know. And I'm like, what is it? And all the cars stop. And we cross the road. I thought, that is fantastic. And you hear the parents saying to the kids in the supermarkets, rock, Rega, 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 Rega. I'm like, Rega, what's this, Rega? Wait, wait. It's wait a moment, wait a minute. Or it's not wait a minute, is it? It's just to have patience, wait. Oh, right. Wait a minute. Rega. So when you come to Israel, just remember, Rega. Rega. Everywhere you go, you're at the traffic lights, you're driving in Jerusalem. Beep, 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 you just go like this. Rega. You don't even have to say Rega, you just do You just this. give them the sign. Yeah, you just like, you look at them, you're like, <laughs> back off, I'm coming through. So, yeah, as you can tell, we're, we're, we're enjoying living in Israel, aren't we? It's a challenge. A That's challenge, why this is yeah. called the Hebrew challenge.